Yo, what's up viewers of YouTube? My name is Tyler of Chico Crypto Consultants here to break down some crypto for you. Got myself a big old tall boy of Pale Ale, Sierra Nevada, one of the best breweries in the United States, started in Chico. So a crypto I'm bringing you today, I've, it's been on my radar for a while. I'm a huge fan of um, smart contract platforms and that's what this platform is. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of Ethereum. I think there's a lot of improvements that can be done. And this is what this platform is trying to do. Different from NEO, NEO's aim is more on, you know, Eastern world, not um, Asian markets, not the Western markets. So the crypto I'm talking about is Komodo. Komodo's aim is to create a borderless world where horizontal business structure gives a competitive edge. So your financial information stays private. Um, people may save, invest, and prosper without having to worry about any politics or corruption. So Komodo can basically be considered part two of the crypto revolution. Um, Komodo's blockchain platform uses Komodo's open source crypto for doing transparent and anonymous transactions. They are made using an ultra secure, um, using Bitcoin's blockchain via a delayed proof of work algorithm, which I'll go to in more depth into a little bit farther in the video. Um, so to understand Komodo, you have to understand the core components. Um, just like in all my videos, we'll break down core components and then go into the token allocation and news. So the parts of the Komodo platform is number one is Zcash. It's an open source crypto project that uses the ZK SNARK protocol. Um, it's a cryptographic zero knowledge proof protocol that ensures privacy and anonymity. Um, Komodo is also going to be using the same protocol to make private and anonymous transactions. They're only using this protocol for the anonymous and private transaction part. Number two is the delayed proof of work, DPOW. It's a new protocol developed by the Komodo developers. It uses a consensus mechanism, which uses regular proof of work like Bitcoin, but it does it a bit differently. Oh, that's good. DPOW involves a mechanism that notarizes the blocks on the blockchain. So it gives transactions basically a second layer of security. The nodes are pre-selected and do the notarization work. It basically means if some attacker wants to change a Komodo transaction, they first have to change the Bitcoin blockchain, which, as everyone knows here, that's freaking impossible. And number three is the SuperNet. SuperNet is a decentralized organization, organization that is developing open source and decentralized tools for the crypto market. Um, we'll go into the components of the SuperNet right now. So... The components of SuperNet are a PAAX, which is a decentralized pegged asset system. Um, it gives it without counterparty risks. So assets can be pegged to main fiat currencies, commodities, and stock market indexes. PAX enables locking funds to avoid price volatility or betting on short-term market movements or longer-term investing. The next part of the SuperNet which is probably one of the most important parts I would consider is a barter decentralized exchange or barter DEX. It's not hosted on a centralized servers and it operates client to client on a distributed network by the Komodo platform. It allows users to trade blockchain to blockchain without intermediaries. And finally, another part, the mo one of the mo more important parts is a jumbler. It's unique in that all mixing happens without any parties directly involved. You are always in control of your funds. There is no multi-sig, multi-party transactions, yet we end up with fully anonymized funds in the Komodo Jumbler address. So now let's get into the juicy part of Komodo, um, which I think is going to be huge in the future. 
is Decentralized Initial Coin Offerings, or DICOs. So, as we know, a lot of United States citizens, Chinese citizens, and citizens of Singapore cannot participate in ICOs right now. Through DICOs, we can, which is going to be huge, especially in China and especially in countries such as the United States. So I'm very excited for this. So with DICOs, a project can launch a Komodo asset chain. The end user, by using Jumbler, can create private Komodo to use as a deem. Now let's envision a barter DEX order book full of the ICO, ICOs UTXOs. You can use the barter DEX to barter your private Komodo UTXOs for the ICOs. It is a direct swap without anybody in between. There can be no money transmitter issues if it is your private Komodo being swapped directly. Now you converted your private Komodo into a private amount of ICO in a totally private address. Nobody knows this has happened except you. This is true financial freedom. It's a pretty amazing um, part of the Komodo platform. So now let's get into the coin supply. Komodo has a total fixed supply of 200 million coins, out of which 100 million were pre-mined and distributed in the ICO. Out of this 100 million, um, 90 million were distributed to investors and 10 million were kept aside for future development and marketing. The ICO was from October 15th, 2016 to November 20th, and during it they raised about $2 million dollars at the time of the ICO. Um, the remaining 100 million coins are still being mined via the delayed proof of work algorithm. So now for the big news coming out of Komodo Front today, the first electro uh, first atomic swap, I'm sorry about that, via Electrum from a client node for both Bitcoin and Komodo happened. Um, pretty big no news as we know Litecoin and Bitcoin atomic swap happened yesterday, and now Komodo happened. And it also looks like Komodo did it with Dogecoin, too. This is good news, which leads us to believe that Komodo's barter, DEX, will be fully functional soon. Big things are coming down the pipeline for Komodo, and I believe that we could see $10 per Komodo by the end of the year. I got my paycheck yesterday and threw 50% of it towards cryptos, and guess what? Komodo was an extremely large portion. If you guys haven't tried Sierra Nevada Pale Ale, recommend you do. It's very good. Now, bringing you to my next topic. An ICO that is accepting NEO contributions. I talked about it a little yesterday. just wanted to inform my users about what it is. Um, it's the clearpoll.io. It's a unique project offering a social hub for users to browse for polls, vote securely, and have their votes stored on the blockchain. The advantage um, is pretty clear. No individual or corporation can tamper or censor poll results. The key feature is um, blockchain technology removes control from corps or even site owners. It's a true social hub where users can vote, view, and socially share results. And there's an easy-to-use app and desktop platform, ensuring anyone who has a device will be able to vote on their chosen topics. So Clearpool has been receiving increased media attention due to it being an interesting mainstream, mainstream application of the blockchain. The t tokens for Clearpool, they are P-O-L-L. -L, um, the number of tokens generated is subject to the funding received during our pre-ICO and ICO. Um, Clearpool tokens are an ERC-20 token on Ethereum. I don't like the fact that they don't know the number of tokens they are generating. And although they're accepting NEO, they are still built on the Ethereum platform. Eventually, Clearpool can port, but until assets and platforms are built on NEO, I wouldn't invest seriously in them. So that's why I'm not investing seriously in Clearpool. So currently, NEO um, is sitting at 1981, and in my opinion, is going to continue to hover in that range for the next 
two weeks. Um, with good news, we're going to see a price pump, and I foresee, depending on that news, the price of Neil will be pushed to 50 and beyond, and possibly even 100, depending on the news. Hopefully it's good. Currently, gas is sitting at 1658, and I'm not so sure about forecasting for gas because um, I don't have as much experience with gas. It hasn't been traded as long, and it does swing even more wildly than Neo. But I could see gas settling in that 14 to 15 dollar range. So viewers, again, I thank you for watching. Um, it's been a pleasure giving you guys some information, and it looks like I'm close to reaching that 1,000 subscriber mark, so I'm probably going to be doing a live stream tonight if it does happen, so stay tuned. Have a great day.